In this video we're going to take a look at the Intel challenge on Hack the Box. So it's an easy OSINT challenge and the description says it seems like a huge trove of tr credit card details is being sold by a group going by the name FlinchSec. Can you find any sites or artifacts associated with the group that we can use to detect them? So there are no files for us to download so we just need to start researching this group FlinchSec. I don't know m much about OSINT techniques so uh, whenever I am approaching any, any challenges like this, I'll have a look for OSINT tools and techniques. And we can find a couple of lists, a couple of, uh, you know, a couple of popular sites with some different tools and techniques to look through. I'm not going to go through all that here. I'm going to jump into the challenge and then um, I'll typically refer back to this sort of stuff if if uh, I get stuck with anything. I'll throw a few links to some uh, list of tools and techniques in the description anyway. One uh, particular t uh, site I would recommend is the OSINT framework, OSINTframework.com. Uh, this, this site, so if you basically if you gather in some data and you get some information, say you find a username, you can click here and, sit and decide to maybe search, um, use one of these services to search that username for other sites. Similarly, if you get something else, say you get a, um, well, let's say an IP address. IP address here we have geolocation, host and port discovery. Um, so you can you can move that out. You'll see up here as well. There are some labels to show right. So Google Doc, um, and it has a link here to Google hacking on how to try and search, um, make your search and as effective as possible in Google. So this is a particularly a uh, good tool. Let's go to I think there was a social networks one as well. Social networks you can go to here, and you've got Twitter. You can find archived and deleted tweets um, and links to different tools and things like that. Here we have LinkedIn, uh, Scraped In, Inspy, LinkedIn Recon tool, where you can, if you want to pass in, let's take a look at this, if you want to give a name of a corporation or something like that, then you'll be able to like scrape the details for employees if you were doing like a pen test or something. Uh, so just thought I'd introduce a couple of those things, which because I, I don't know too much about this area, but let's move on to actually searching for FlinchSec. So we have a LinkedIn profile showing up straight away with leader of FlinchSec, Rack de Burton. So let's take a look at this. A good thing to do as we're going as well is just open up Sublime and paste things in as we go. So we've just found a name, Rector Burton. Something that we can search for later, perhaps looking at some of the OSINT framework tools that we just look that we just uh, looked through. And we can see there ten years, Flinch Sex self employed leader. Can we see all activity here? Followers, we're able to see the follower. Might need to log in to see some of the information. I'm already logged in here. Um, and we have as well a profile picture so we could save the profile picture this might be worth doing a reverse image search on it let's go to Tinai and we'll upload that image if it's a distinctive or a custom image obviously if it's a, an actual profile picture and an actual photograph then it'll, it can be handy We've got a location here as well, if that could be of use. Sometimes this, the ID might be customizable, like on the LinkedIn profile, so we could try to decode this as well. Just in case that was specified by the user and the username, doesn't look like it. Go back to Tinai, and this is from the Watch Dogs Legion game, so I'm not going to expect to see that, uh, see this, um, relating to the challenge. Can we go to Flinch Sec here, find out more information? Contact info. 
and here we have a website okay so let's have a look at the website let's take a copy of it as well we help people in elite speak and you can see the website's no longer available so we're going to need to try and see if we can find it archived so we could have a look on the OSINT framework here but presumably in maybe domain name I'm actually not sure what section it'd be in here maybe is there a history section here alright well it's going to be easier for me because I know uh, we can use Wayback Machine and probably even just googling um, archived websites would be quicker to be honest Oh, you can, I wonder. Oh, you can't search there. I either can't search there, or it doesn't have the Wayback Machine in this OSINT framework, which I'd be surprised about. Anyway, um, let's put in this web address. And we can see it's saved one time on October 30th, 2020. And it looks like a WordPress site or generic blog, yeah, WordPress. Um, and there's a message here from the admin saying, for, uh, our new tool, from now on we will upload all of our tools to GitHub. So let's click on the GitHub link. Let's go straight to the GitHub repo though. And you can see then the, we have a username here which is in hex. We can take this to. Let's just go back first of all to the website here, just see if we're missing anything else. Doesn't look like it. I'm not too sure is this the name of this name is related to anything. Um. If we try to click on the admin link, that page isn't archived. So let's let's look at the GitHub and check out this uh, name in hex. So if we take a copy of this and let's go to ASCII to hex or Cyberchef or whatever's quickest and easiest for you. We'll paste this in here. Try to convert it. And we don't get any ASCII text, so let's try to let's run hash ID. Okay. And it could be an MD5 hash, so we could run hashcat on it. If we say hashcat dash M0, it's dash M0, not a thousand, isn't it? I think a thousand is NTLM. Um, dash M0 paste in our hash and then give it a directory user share word lists crackstation real that'll start running it'll probably be actually quicker just to go to crackstation so I'll do that now it's just sometimes the capture on there takes a while so if it's something that's really easy to crack then it won't be a problem in, uh, in the VM through hashcat Save, grab this hash as well, or this uh, hex string. Do our machine learning labeling. And okay, so unknown hash type, not the result was not found. We could also take that to virus total probably other things here as well um, malware and file analysis search so you can you know search some of these total hash let's have a look at that one as well go to virus total search we can search by the name uh, domain we can search by hash search there we've got nothing for the hash so let's see what else we've got in the repo. If we go into this musical compute machine, 
got a readme file it just has musical computer machine in it let's google that and see if there's any we have another github repo with the same thing in it two years ago which this challenge I think is only a few months old so I'm gonna say it's probably not related unless this was the challenge has been planned well well in advance let's go back we know that we can go we can go back down that route if we need to anyway but let's um, let's see then history there's no other commits there no more information here issues pull requests actions and nothing in the code if we check the tags we have a tag here saying okay with some assets and a normal binary dot exe and some source code let's open the source code first well, it's just our readme by the looks of it so let's download the normal binary our um, this was exhausted okay and we'll w get this file normal binary it's an executable file we can run strings dash n10 okay so we can scroll through the strings here it does look like a genuine binary plenty of functions and imports we can scroll through to see if there's any useful strings give me password dot c we could try and run it in wine or we could take it over to a windows system commando vm or something like that and try to debug it um, and potentially open it in Gearder or Ida Pro or something like that to disassemble it. We could actually we could actually do that here. What I'm going to do first of all is let's do MD5 sum of normal binary. I'm going to grab this MD5 and I'm going to go back to virus total. We could have. What about this virus share? Do I need to log in? Log in, to search, and download. Okay, I'll not do that. I'll do virus total. Search here for this hash, and we get 21 engines detected. This is malware. Generic Trojan behaves like Trojan. If we have a look at the details here. We can see all the hashes, and if we look at the names, we can see that we have our flag. And that has been the Intel challenge. I thought this was a good challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. If you um, know of any cool OSINT tools or techniques which I should have covered here or should cover in future, let me know.